Hello, gorgeous ladies and gentlemen of the realm. Fairy Vixen here, back again with another video. I'm going to finish my box of, uh, what is it? Bracelets. Um, my personal collection of bracelets. Um, and then we'll see what else we can get into. Because um, I've... <laughs> I, uh, yeah. <laughs> Alright. First thing first, I have these two that are plastic. And they are very cool. Bone colored really cool the pair of these i'm gonna do these for 10. very cool all right i need a buh, 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 buh. i need a i need a need a container there we go Put everything in this one. Whoopsie. Knocking stuff over. Don't do that. Okay. And then I have that one. And I thought I had one that went with that, but I guess not. It's a little square Lucite one. Very cute. $3 for that. And then I have this. This was a lot that I put together. Ooh, look at this moon glow one. Oh, that's cool. Moon glow lucite. Very cool. Pardon my dishwasher running if you can hear that. So this one I'm going to do for four. This one for two. This one, oh, there's a whole bunch in here. Oh, look. This is a bunch of stuff. This one's nice. It's got tiny little sparkly beads. It's got some, oh, wow, look, there's chevron. Oh, that's nice. I never even noticed that. It's got chevrons of, uh, peacock and then it's got these little teeny tiny seed beads black that's gorgeous we'll do that for three this one is well let's see let's do a group here leather beaded twisted black um this one's a little bit, it's skinny and it's got little sparkly bits. And then we have this one is silver tone, silver tone, silver tone. And two of these that I have to test. <laughs> We're not going to put those in there. This one as well. So we'll do all of these guys for three. And then we have this one that is very nice vintage plastic with some really nice bead caps. We'll do that one for yeah, three. This one is cool. It's black enamel and rhinestone and silver tone. We'll do that one for five. Very heavy. These things I'm going to test. Let's just see, because they're, they're Alex and Ani type, so I don't know if they're the real dull or not. Nope, they're both copper-based, so we'll do the pair of those for a dollar. Okay, so that's that bag there. Got another bag here. This is a pair of things. Hold on. There was something else that I thought would go with these, and there it is in the bottom of this bag. There we go. Just 
for funsies. I'm going to put these all together. We have this choker, red, white, and blue. We have this bracelet. It is four pe five pieces, red, white, and blue, with a, a clip holding everything together. You could probably just take that clip off of there and have the set. Okay, so there's, there's that. And then there's this ring that is goes with. So there's your 4th of July set. And this ring is a five and three quarters. I'm going to do all three of these pieces for six. Six, 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 six. All right. Not a whole lot here. There's a lot of stuff here that I'm probably going to keep too. This one for sure I'm going to keep. This, I live in a little town called uh, Delaware City. And there's a little island in the middle of the river between here and New Jersey uh, called Pea Patch Island that has a fort on it. And it is called Fort Delaware. This is a vintage Fort Delaware souvenir bracelet book chain uh, that I bought from... Um, Vintage Discoveries. She pulled this and I was like, no friggin' way. So I had to buy it. And it's got little moon glow beads on it. And it's got a fold over clasp. And I think this is from the 50s. So I had to, I had to keep that. Like I had to buy that and keep it because it's amazing. All right, let's see. What else are we selling? Selling, selling. This one is... Power. Na, 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 na. Na, na, na. Dinosaur World. Watch. Sterling, my sterling, I'm keeping most of it. Okay, well, let's do this. This is a pair of brass, very nice brass bracelets, beautiful patterns. Uh, we're going to do the pair of these for six. And, oof. nope. That one stays with me. This one can go. This one can go. That one can go. Going, going. Keeping. Keeping. Uh, this one can go. Darn it. I was going to keep that one, but I changed it to my mind. Da, 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 da. What the heck is this? This one's all up in a ball. We'll fix that later. Beep. Oh, my dishwasher is done. I didn't know it had that function where you could it beeped. Beep. Beep. What? Oh, mine. And as much as I. Oh, do I want to keep that? Lord, I'm having trouble. Maybe. We'll see. This one is, looks like a uh, rainbow obsidian or smoky. No, it's smoky quartz on one of these do-it-yourself bracelets with a, with a fold-over clasp. These are cute. This is cute. Handmade. Do that one for three. This one is really cool. 
it is rhinestone and gold tone and um i thought it was marked but it isn't it's a really nice uh vintage one i know that this i know i've seen this somewhere in a book but i can't remember where it's really cool though so we'll do that one for seven this is rose gold tone. A little one of these, stretchy, stretchy, with a little rhinestone -y guy. And then there's this, for some reason, was in there with it because it is also rhinestone y with gold, uh, not gold tone. Um, it's a, a pear. It's a pair for Aldo. And it goes really well together. They're exactly the same tone. So we're going to do this pair of Aldo for eight. Aldo, Aldo. Mm -hmm. Here's some more vintage. I think I bought this from Ro a while ago, or Lori, or someone. It's from a bit ago, and I've worn it, and I've loved it, and now it's time for it to go. <sighs> so many things just need to go. It is size 8, and it is beautiful. It's pristine. It's a gold tone. It's unmarked, but it's really gorgeous, mid-century modern. We're going to do that one. For 11, <clears throat> here is an inexpensive gold tone and faux stone. That is eight and a half inches. We're going to do this one for six. This one for, this is really small really really small but if it's me well, what is that oh that scared me because I found three um, deer ticks on me yesterday because I was out in the yard this one I'm gonna do for four it is alpaca alpaca Mexico This one, I don't know. Um, I love it because it's got an S and a dinosaur. Because I play a game online that's all about dinosaurs. So that's going to stay with me, I guess. This one, where's the other one? I thought I had another one. But I don't. So this is brass, copper, and silver tone. We're going to do that for eight. This one is light goodness, light goddess power. Goddess power. Alex and Ani. We'll do that for seven. And this one is leather, and it has a prayer, I think, on it. Let me see. Let me read it. Forgive quickly, kiss slowly, love truly, laugh uncontrollably, and never regret anything that made you smile. Audrey Hepburn. Okay, so that's an Audrey Hepburn quote. That's pretty cool. I really, really like that, but... And it's leather. It's really nice. It's a nice piece. So let's see how long she be. Very cool. I did keep this because I thought the sentiment was awesome. But like many of the other things that I've kept, I haven't worn it. So this is 8 inches from this snap to that. So 8 inches. Very cute. Um, hmm, let's do this one for 7. Oh, does it have a name on it? 
It does. Hold on. Let me look this up. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on a moment. Oh, I know another reason why I kept it because the brand name is Foxy. I have seen their stuff before. So I'm going to do this one for eight. I know I said seven, but I'm going to do it for eight. Sorry, sometimes I forget. This one is gold tone, fold over clasp. It's got Austrian crystals, but not, I don't think they're uh, Swarovski. There's no marking to denote that it's Swarovski, but it's really nice quality. Red and, ooh, red and white. Let me have another, here's another one kind of like that. In silver tone. Sterling? Wait, let me see. Let me see. Is this sterling? I doubt it. Nope. Not sterling. The clasp looks like it's trying to be, and it says it is, but I think it's BS. Wait a minute. Let me try that again. If it is, it's got a coating on it because it's really hard to scratch. Scratch. Nope. Nope. SBS is not. BS. BS. Still cute though. So it's got multicolored crystals. I don't think these are. They are glass, but I don't think they're scrub. They're uh, Austrian crystal. This one is. Okay, so the red and white one we're going to do for seven. And the multicolored glass we're going to do for five. Daryi Ghoul. Oh, and I have this one. Beautiful thing. Gorgeous. I've worn many times. Oh, it has a stone missing. The thing is, though, really? It's really not. Doesn't really show. I'm going to do that one for three. Just for shes and giggles. This one is beauteous. And it was a lot of work to make, I'm sure. It's just a mix of stones and pearls in different colors. Really pretty. This is a piece of amethyst. This looks like selenite. It's got some glass. It's got a bunch of stuff. Let me see if it's sterling or not. I don't remember. Mm -hmm. that scratch is good. Whoop. I don't think it is, honestly. Nope. Tisn't. Tisn't. Okay. But it is beautiful and very well made. And I'm going to say one of a kind. It looks like somebody used their uh, bead soup for making this. Eight inches long. Really nice. Beautiful. Look at the red. It's got red pearls and rust pearls and a little hunk of imperial jade. It feels like. The venturine. Gorgeous thing. We're going to do this one for 11. Here's a pair that I put together. Steel. This one has, um, what do you call it? Oh, hey, I thought it was just a, uh, yeah, cool. 
It's got an actual lock on it. Nice. It has Greek key, and this one does not. This one is just a rhinestone. You can wear them together. Wear one on either side. I'm going to do the pair of these for 12 because they're that nice. Look at that. Gorgeous. Or if you want one or the other, let me know. This one I kept because I was a Doctor Who fan for a very long time. This is a... Uh, the BBC it says on the back. It is the uh, <laughs> the TARDIS. It's a TARDIS bracelet. <laughs> That's so cool, and it's English. It's from the BBC. So we're gonna do this one for six. This one is not for sale. My only native piece that I have left besides that nice ring that I have. So, yeah. Nope. Can't have that. Sorry. This one is black. It's not... Uh, I want to say basalt, but that's not what it is. There's another name for this. But it's carved with little figures and I'm not sure what language that is but it's really neat and it's stone and if you don't want to wear it that way you can wear it this way which is really nice as well it is all stone I'm gonna do this one for eight and that my dears is the name of that tune. Oh wait, we got a watch. This one is a Seiko. And I don't know if it works. So we're going to do it for seven. All right. Uh, what do we got? All right, I'm going to show you my stuff now. The stuff that I'm keeping. This I got in Philadelphia at a little antique shop. With my ex, we got amber and onyx, and it's solid sterling. Is a chunky monkey. Long time ago. Oh wait, there's another one of those. Because you know I got to keep all of those. This one is Las Vegas themed, so I have to keep it because that's where I was born. Lucky seven, red and black, money bags, a little spade, a lucky seven. So yeah, that that is nostalgic. This one I'm not sure about. It's really pretty, and I do wear it. So it may come up at other some other time, but it's really nice. Little blue guy. And this one is my little daisies, daisy slider bracelet. This might come up for, for sale at some point too. Um, just not right now. <laughs> When I run out of my daisy stickers, I'll probably sell that. This one is absolutely stunning. But it needs to have this replaced. I need to stick that back in there and tighten the prongs down. Which I haven't done yet. But it's beautiful and green and gorgeous. I can get my daughter can probably fix that for me. I forget what. This has got a name on it. I forget what the name is. I thought it had a name. What? It had a name on it. I could have sworn. Could have sworn it had a name on it. I guess not. It's unnamed. But look at that. It's beautiful. Beautiful. 
that goes back in the jewelry box with the empty, with the missing stone. Um, this one is also a greeny one. Uh, and I don't know how it got all twisted up. That's weird. Okay, there we go. This one is... It's, um, moon glow. It's not, uh, cat's eye. Even though it looks like cat's eye, it's plastic. Wait, is it? No, it's glass, so they're cat's eye. Green cat's eye. And it's a fold over. Beautiful thing. I have this one, and then I have another one that I put with it that is faux malachite. I can't remember who I bought it from. But they look really nice together. And then this one is a tennis bracelet with all the different stones. Garnet Peridot, Amethyst, Aquamarine, and Citrine. And that's Sterling. I had to save at least one of these because I had a bunch. And I sold most of them, but uh, I wanted to keep one. No, do it this way. This way. Do, do, do. Why you know? Eh. There we go. Beautiful. That might go at some point too, but not right now. This one I pulled out of a box. It's... Did I... I don't know, this might be uh, something I got from Jen. I can't remember. It says alpaca, which is weird because it's not. They've scratched out the name of the uh, silver company, which I find strange. But I love it. It's a fork. <laughs> a fork bracelet. This is my witchy bracelet. I bought it from Etsy. It's nothing special. It's just silver tone. But we have the sun and the moon and blessed be and a wand and an hourglass. I love this thing. It's so cute. The pentacle. Lantern, butterfly, squirrel, bat, frog, just some swirlies, fishy, a goblet, let's see what the goblet is. Kind of tangled up in the other thing. Goblet, kitty cat, <laughs> tarot card, snowflake, deer, bumblebee, crystal ball. I love the crystal ball, it's so cute. Shamrock, four leaf clover, I guess, witchy hat, and a rose, and a dragonfly, and a star. What else? A sword, a sheaf of wheat, a cauldron. A broom, of course. 
a bunny rabbit for Ostara, a little mirror, a heart, oh wait, oh, an apple, a pumpkin, what is this? Looks like a piggy, a boar, I guess, Oop, a little goddess. Doggy scratching, a little raven, and a feather, and a triskelion, some acorns, a green man, an owl. So many things, an oak leaf, a tree of life, a, a book, probably a book of shadows, and then a, a fire, and then the blessed bee again. So that is my witchy bracelet. I love it. It's got so much stuff on it. All the things. Okay. There's my Malachite. I got for my ex. Sterling. This one. My daughter brought me back from Mexico. This one is beautiful. I can't remember who I bought it from. But it's Malachite. Onyx. Uh, red jasper, and I don't know what this one is. Probably sodalite, but it's really pretty. It's sterling, I think. I can't remember. Probably. You know, it doesn't look like it, huh? Maybe I don't know. Let's see. Hmm. <laughs> yep oh yeah that one is totally yeah that's a nice one put that there here's another one little sterling guy this one was my grandmother's it goes with the ring I have upstairs it's a Stuart Nye it is it's got a little crack here I need to get repaired somehow I mean, it doesn't really show through to the front much, except for right there. But I need to have it fixed. And then I have this one that was given to me by a very dear person. It is steel. I love the steel ones. And then, let's see what else. This, I am unsure as to what this stone is, but it's really awesome. I don't know. It's very green, and it has very interesting markings in it. If anybody can tell me what that is, please do. It's very heavy, and it's sterling. I bought this one at an auction when with my hubs. When we first got together, we would go to the auction every week. And this one, that was fun. It cost me 100 bucks. 100 bucks, because I had to have it. And this is my, was my mother's. It's very much worn. It's a, it's an old one. It doesn't have a name on it. It's from the 60s, 50s or the 60s, but yeah, the stones are yellowing. It's just a cute little thing that she had that I just, I don't know, I've kept it all this time. I remember her wearing it an awful lot. So that is the end of my personal bracelet collection um if you see something that you like uh wait a minute i'd like to thank you all for being here 
Please leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already, leave a comment in the down there, and if you see something you can't live without in the ones that are for sale, uh, please do leave a timestamp in the comments below of the item in which you're interested. But if you would like, you could send that same information to my email, which is in my description. But if you do that, please do uh, include the title of the video and the date that it was posted so that I can find your items. And if you haven't bought from me before. Please include your name, address, PayPal, email, and YouTube name. And that way I can match up your names, get your items invoiced, and get them out to you as soon as possible. I will be invoicing on the first after my invo uh, my after my auction with Jen, which will be tomorrow. Um, yeah, I would like to thank. Oh, psh. I'm a little bit discombobulated, if you don't mind. Um, remember that I love each and every one of you and be yourself, because everyone else is taken. Bye-bye.